Hey guys, so you want to make a sphere, right? You want to make a hole in a sphere. Um, most thing people know is that we just do it with a UV sphere and then we put a cylinder through it, right? So I'm gonna rotate this cylinder, I'm gonna make it a bit smaller, a little Y, and now I'm gonna make sure we have the Boolean tool. Um, let me also put my screencast keys on so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Yes. And now we do the boolean. And we select what we want to cut out. Now we need to do a difference, of course. And if I hide this, you can see that we have our hole. The problem is, look at our topology. Um, I need to accept it first. You can see that our topology is all like messed up. Right, I can't even do an edge loop in here, and for hard surface, like for real hardcore hard surface stuff, it's just very annoying if you have stuff like this. Um, let's say we want to put a bevel in here, a bevel. Um, that's that kind of works, but once you get, like now it also bevels this. Once you want to get that away, and only bevel this stuff, then you will see, as soon as you go into more subdivisions that you can get kind of um, this kind of weird like artifacts so it's not as clean as we might have wanted okay so one other way to do this is I'm gonna delete this add a UV sphere and right now <clears throat> we need an add-on and this add-on is already in blender but it might not be like applied on you yet so when we go into edit preferences you can look here by add-ons and look for loop tools so you have mesh loop tools if this is turned off turn it on if it's already turned on okay cool save preferences and now when we select this we can click on w and now we have our loop tools here and we can make this a circle awesome now we can just extrude it with E go inwards and you will see that we have a nice hole so we can give this a bevel and what I like to do with this is um, give this a weight instead of an angle or, or none give this a weight so here in view you can see that we have edge data and we need to give this a weight so we need to select these edges so I'm holding alt um, shift and then it selects the whole edge like the whole loop I need to do this multiple times because the loops like loop doesn't go all the way through of course so I need to do this four times and when you have this all selected now you can give this a mean bevel weight and you can go here into your bevel modifier and choose weight it messes up a bit or it looks weird this is has uh, multiple reasons first of all it can be our scale which is it not in this time but it can also just be the width so if the width lower you can see that it changes right you can change the segments if you want or anything but let's put a subdivision surface in here and we put our view a little bit up and now you can see that we have a very 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 clean topology Look at this. There is no weird artifacts happening or anything. That looks super clean, doesn't it? And um, yeah, that's kind of how I make these holes. Very clean. And I hope you guys learned something from this. It's it's a short one, right? But um, yeah, if your boolean are just a little bit too bumpy and stuff, then this is a way to go in spheres. So I hope you guys learned from this and I'll see you guys later.